Now before we can start working with Substrate, we need Rust to be installed on our system. The reason is that Substrate has been built with Rust. And this is why we need the Rust toolchain on our system. Now you have access to this document which is part of this course and all the commands for installing Rust have been mentioned here. There are installation steps which are different for Linux and Mac but they look quite similar. And for Windows, essentially the steps will be the same as Linux because you have to, uh, it's recommended by Rust to use the um, WSL feature of Windows. With WSL, you're able to launch Linux instances in your Windows system. So if you see here, I have this terminal open on my screen and this is a Linux terminal whereas I'm using Windows. So the steps for Windows and Linux will be the same. Steps for Mac will be slightly different. And I'll show you the steps for Linux, which you can also use for Windows, as since they're the same. So I'll be showing you those steps in this demo. But even if you're on Mac, the steps have been mentioned here and they're very, very simple to follow along. All right, so let's get started. So first, what you have to do is you have to have the build essential package available. I already have it, but still, uh, just because you're following along in the video, I'll go ahead and install it again. Okay. <clears throat> and then you need some more packages. So this command again has been mentioned. So even if those packages exist in your system, it's recommended to upgrade them. So some of them are getting upgraded in my system, even if they exist. And some that don't exist will be installed. And you might encounter some errors here because it was not able to find or connect to some IP addresses. But with the errors, it had some suggestions it said, maybe run app get update. And that's what I did. And then everything else was resolved perfectly fine. If in case you run into that error, that's what you need to do. So now we'll go ahead and install Rust. And this is the command for Rust. And what you need is you need the default installation. So it's uh, installed now. It says Rust is installed. Great. You can either restart your current shell or it gives you another command home slash cargo slash env. Okay. You, uh, with, with source, obviously. And you can run this command if you want this particular terminal to recognize Rust. So now if I say Rust C, which is a Rust compiler, minus minus version, I should see 1.69.0, which is the latest version. Now there are a few more commands that Substrate says that you should uh, you know, run, which is your Rust up, which you get along with Rust C, you get Rust up also. It's like a package manager. So you get default stable and you say Rust up update. So when I say package manager, it, this is basically helping you manage the Rust versions, whereas the package manager is cargo for the projects that you'll build with Rust. And then we'll need to run two more commands after this, after this is resolved. But all of these commands will take a while to resolve. And uh, it was important to run this command because you get this wasm32 unknown unknown. And if you don't run this command and you try to install substrate, you try to run the substrate node, you will get an error saying could not find wasm32 unknown unknown. And even after doing this, we might still get that error, but that's completely all right, not a problem. We'll find ways to fix that. And now, We'll also run these commands. We'll add wasm wasm or wasm thirty nine unknown unknown. It's already up to date, so that's perfectly fine. So now, now we can say Rust up show, okay, and Rust up plus nightly show. So you have everything now. Everything is perfectly fine. Everything works. And then your Rust C command, which is the most important Rust C, uh, also works. So once all of these things work, uh, you're ready. You're ready for Substrate. 